the 17 in a row against this. So with that, we'll uh, open it for Coach. Coach, I'm sure it's uh, thrilling for you to, to come away with a win against a quality team like this, but again, with all the connections that you have there. But how proud are you of what this team was able to accomplish tonight? I mean, the, the Green Bay is an outstanding team. I mean, they've had so many years of, of winning records and tradition, and so for for a you know a relatively young Youngstown Youngstown State team that's that's just hitting their stride to be able to get this win is really big. In terms of uh, a complete performance by all your girls, you battled foul trouble with <laughs> Tish and Heidi all night long, fifty-one fouls in the game. But to have people step up. I mean, was that the biggest key to have people really step up when you needed them most? I mean, it was huge. Kelsey Newman and Melissa Thompson and Monica Tubell all played a lot of minutes. We, we were in foul trouble in the first five minutes of the game, I think, and uh, they just did a great job. Uh, they they don't second guess themselves. They come out and they play hard and do what they can do. And um, you know, we help build a lead with those guys in there. What do wins like this against quality programs like this say about the program and the direction of it, where it's headed? If this plan is. Kind of well, <laughs> it's still early. I mean, we're three games into the conference season. There's a long way to go, and we're just going to keep trying to get better every day. That was kind of our motto from day one, um, and I feel like we have been doing that. We still have a long way to go, but you know, we're going to enjoy this tonight and hopefully get a lot of rest and come back, have a good practice tomorrow, and try to take care of Milwaukee on Saturday. Coach, how big was it for uh, Megan to foul out with about three minutes to go in the game? Megan is so tough. I mean, I I really have a ton of respect for for Coach Borseth and and the Green Bay team and their players. I know them all. They're all great kids. They all work extremely hard. Um, but and Megan's the leader of that group, and and she's she's as tough as tough as I've ever coached and ever seen. Um, and so so that helped. I mean, we we had a lead, you know, while she was in there and got it up to 10 points. But um, they really look to her to lead and down the stretch. It's hard for them when she's out, you know, who to look for at that point. 20 for, a 20 for a turnover is I don't think that's a stat you want to see, but they had 22 themselves. Can you talk about the other? You know what, they do a great job defensively. They pressure, they deny, they switch all over the place, they force a ton of turnovers, which obviously they did again tonight. Um, I thought our defense was pretty good tonight too, forcing 22 from a team that averages maybe 13, um, something like that. So uh, we held them to 31% from the field and 22% from three. So that's the key. We're trying to build the program on our defense. Um, I thought we made some shots tonight and we've been making more as of late. So obviously you got to do that to win games and it kind of came together. What was it like in the locker room? <laughs> it was fun. I mean, the girls were really excited. It's a long, hard road against, you know, you, you lose 17 straight against the team. And so to come out and win, they were, they were really pumped. Um, you try to be excited and, and happy about it, but we got a big job on Milwaukee. I mean, Milwaukee beat them last week, so obviously Milwaukee's really good. So we've got our hands full. Um, you know, I guess as a coach, you're, you already start thinking about that now, but hopefully the players can enjoy it for the night and get some rest and be ready to come back tomorrow for practice. What kind of an impact can a win like this have, you, with the big picture moving forward, what kind of an impact can a win like this have on a team over the course of the season? The biggest thing is confidence and believing in the, in the new system, the new style. That, that's hard for, for any team when they get a new coach to, to, you know, especially replacing a coach that was very successful. Um, coach Bolden did a great job here, took him to the WNIT. And um, so, to, so to have someone new coming in with a lot of different ideas and, you know, it's hard. And, and I, I give the seniors credit for, for buying in more and more. And hopefully, you know, they, they can enjoy this win as part of that change. No, I mean, IUPUI is really good. We had a tough schedule. IUPUI is really good. VCU is like 14 and 1. West Virginia is 15 and 2. And Cincinnati's doing very, I mean, we had a very really tough schedule, so it, it prepared us for the league. Joe, anything else? Can we get a quote about uh, You know, Jenna, as a, as a true freshman, having to play in these type of games and environments, she's learning a lot. I mean, I'm hard on her, and she just 
takes it all in stride and keeps playing hard and keeps doing her best. When she figures out what she can do and how good she can be, she can do this on a regular basis. So I'm very happy for her. Only one point by Karen Flagg tonight, but seven rebounds, three blocks. <clears throat> Yeah, Karen is really long and athletic, and she made some key blocks in there. Uh, so, you know, she just does what she does. Seven rebounds against a really good rebounding team is, is outstanding. We've got to figure out ways to get her involved more on the scoring end, but, um, you know, she's, she's as happy as anybody with this win. All right. Thanks, guys. I thought you were telling me no. No, I was like, no, I was like, no. No, you're not.